Hi everyone. In this bite-sized bit, we're going to talk about how we can use an existing Visual Studio project as a template for a new project. Let's go ahead and get started. There will be times when programming where you'd like to create a brand new project that is similar to a project you created in the past, but also somehow different. Rather than edit an existing project, what you might choose to do is copy that project to a new project and then use that as a jumping off point. And that's what we're going to demonstrate today. We have our project from previous examples, Boone Ted Example 1. I don't want to edit this project. I want to use it as a starting point for a brand new project. I've located this project on my computer and you'll note that I'm looking at the outside folder which I call the container folder. If I click into this folder I will see the solution file and the working folder that contains all of the files that Visual Studio needs for our project. We don't typically manipulate these files directly and we only use the solution file as a starting point for running a project. So I don't want to be in either of these locations. I want to go back one further to the outside container folder. Once I'm looking at my outside container folder, I can copy and paste this existing project to a new location. And it's as easy as right clicking and copying and then right clicking and pasting. If you're more comfortable with keyboard shortcuts, feel free to use Control C and Control V to paste your project. You'll see I have a new folder which is named similarly to my original container folder with the word copy at the end. And inside that folder I will see exactly the same solution file, working folder, and files that I had in my previous project. And in fact, if I open this project in Visual Studio by double clicking on the solution file, I will see the exact same content that I had before, which shouldn't be any surprise. We copied and pasted this project. I have an FRM example one file in my solution explorer. If I double click on that, I will see the form object on my left hand side with the exact same text property that I had before. This is an exact duplicate of my previous project. At this point, we could start to edit this project without having any effect on our previous work. We have a copy. Let's talk a little bit about the steps we would take to rename this copy of the original project. We've gone through these steps in a previous example. Let's do them again. The first thing I may want to do is rename my form file. In this case, instead of FRM example one, I'm going to change this to FRM example two. I clicked on the form file in the solution explorer. I waited for a moment and then I clicked on the form one more time. Now I'm going to highlight the word one and I'm going to change it to 2. I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to be prompted do you want to change the references to the code element for FRM example 1 and I'm going to answer yes. Finally for my third step I'm going to click on the form object on the left hand side of my screen. I'm going to find the text property for this form and I'm going to change it from example 1 to example 2. These are the exact same three steps we took when we created this project the first time, only this time I'm obviously changing the name from 1 to 2. There's one other thing you might want to do inside your code. The name of the project at large is, in my case, Boone Ted Example 1. I might want to rename the project as well. So in this bold area, rather than the 1, I may change it to 2. Simple enough. Once you've done these four steps for renaming the code inside your project, you're going to want to save your work. I recommend clicking on the Save All button to save everything you may have changed. And you'll be good to go creating this new project which is based upon a previous existing project. I'm going to go ahead and close Visual Studio and talk a little bit about how we might manipulate the files on our computer for this new project. The name of the outside working folder right now is Boonted Example 1 Copy. That doesn't really reflect what I'm trying to do here, so I might click, pause, and click on this outside container folder and change its name. Changing outside container folders has no effect on the functionality of your projects. You can name them anything you want, but for class purposes, please make sure you follow our naming convention. 
where you always name something based upon your last name and your first name and then something descriptive. No spaces, no underscores, no dashes or funny characters. On the inside of our container folder, we have a solution file that I also might want to change. I'm going to click, pause, click again, and then change the one to a two. Depending on how your computer is configured, you may not see this .sln, and that's perfectly fine. You don't need to worry about that. At this point, you've done all of the easy steps for renaming a project, both inside Visual Studio and on your computer. There is one more step you may wish to take, but it is optional. You don't need to ever do this for any of our homeworks, projects, or exams. And I'm actually going to demonstrate how doing it wrong might have a detrimental effect on your opening of your project and how you can fix it. The inside folder or the working folder still has a name Boon Ted Example 1. I might want to change that. If I click, pause, click, I can rename the 1 to a 2. If that's all I do, I will, unfortunately, have broken this project. And let me show you what happens if you don't take one additional step. I've renamed my outside container folder. I've renamed my solution file and I've renamed my working folder. If I try to open this project in Visual Studio, I'm going to get an error. You can see one or more projects in the solution were not loaded correctly. Please see the output window for details. This is a scary error to see, especially if you've been working for hours or days on a project. But this is potentially no reason to panic. If I click OK, I'm going to see that Visual Studio is unable to open my form, is unable to locate any of the files, things look unloaded, I've got all kinds of terrible errors. If you see this, take a deep breath and think about what we've just done. We've renamed the outside container folder we've renamed the solution file, and we've renamed the working folder. The one step we have not taken is we haven't told Visual Studio in code that we renamed the working folder. So unfortunately, Visual Studio is still looking for files in the wrong place. It's looking for our working files inside Boon Ted Example 1, but that working folder doesn't exist. What we need to do to make this work is right-click on our solution file and open it not with Visual Studio, but with some sort of text editor. I'm going to go and choose another app. I'm going to click on more apps, and I'm gonna scroll up and down this list until I find something like Notepad or WordPad or Word. In this case, I'm gonna choose Notepad. I am not going to check on always use this app to open SLN files. This is going to be a rare occasion where we open an SLN file with something other than Visual Studio. I'm going to click OK, and I'm going to see what looks like a text file. And in this case, what we're going to be looking for is an old version of our working folder being referenced inside this text file. And here it is. Instead of saying Boon Ted example, to backslash and then the name of our project file, it says Boon Ted Example 1. If I change this to a 2, save my solution file, and then close this text file, and then try to run my Visual Studio project, everything will work the way it's supposed to. Again, this last set of steps where I changed the working folder is not necessary or required in any of your projects, homeworks, or exams. If your inside working folder doesn't have the same naming convention as the other files and folders in your Visual Studio project, that's perfectly okay. You never need to edit the solution file in Notepad if you don't want to, and you never need to rename the working folder. This is just an additional step for students who want to make sure that everything is 100% consistent. All right, that's it for this bite-sized bit. Thanks for watching. See you next time.